Could I just ask, please, um, which state in America are you from? I'm in I'm in Connecticut. Connecticut. Right. So that's Eastern. Yes, sir. That's Eastern Standard Time, isn't it? Yeah. Um, it's 730 p.m. now. And has the voting stopped? Does voting stop at a certain time? Has voting stopped? Well, it's, their votes are coming in and they're tallying. So it'll be f- soon. In the UK, I think all voting stops at 10 p.m. Uh, is that the cutoff time? Uh, well, something like that. It yeah. varies from state to state, of oh, course. But oh, um, yeah, it'll be in. It'll be in this evening. Not not too late. We'll see. We'll right. see. I don't even know. I'm not following it too much. <laughs> of course, as a Jehovah's <clears throat> Witness, you don't you don't vote, do you? Yeah, you know, you you have an interesting um, um, a website or a profile, if you will, because on one hand you seem very opposed. To Jehovah's Witnesses, but on the other hand, you are kind of sympathetic to their f- beliefs and feelings, and you know, so it's interesting, and you have respect, which is good. I um, I've been reading your book, Enjoy Life Forever. Um, I uh-huh. just got some questions. I don't know if you could help with lesson lesson nineteen. Well, I don't have the book right in front of me right now, but what, what does that pertain to? Um, well, it's lesson 19. I'd have to, I can read bits of it to you and get your response if you want me to, if that's okay. Oh, well, it's, you can begin, sure. Okay. Uh, lesson 19, the introduction. As Jehovah's Witnesses, we believe that we are real Christians. Why? Consider the basis for our beliefs the name that sets us apart, and the love we have for one another. It says, as Jehovah's Witnesses, we believe that we are real Christians. I get it. Jehovah's Witnesses believe that they are the real Christians. My question Mm -hmm. is, do you believe that there are real Christians in other groups? I used to go to a Baptist church. Do you believe that there are at least some Baptists who are real Christians right now? I'm, I'm not asking you if those Baptists convert in five years' time and they become Jehovah's Witnesses, and then you believe they will become real Christians. I'm asking you, do you believe there are people who are not Jehovah's Witnesses, who are in different groups, and right now, this very instant, they are real Christians, even though they're nothing to do with the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society? Well, you know what? We we could not say that there are not some Christians out there in other groups, um, we 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 would say and will say that um, at some point they would recognize that Jehovah is God, and that is the God that they would and should worship. And at some point that would come out, and they would see that. Right. Whether so, so you're saying in the future these people will convert become Jehovah's Witnesses, and then become real Christians. That's not my question. I, I cannot, I can't, what's your, what's your first name again? Robert. Um, yeah. So um, what I'm asking you is, right now, this very instant, are there people who are not Jehovah's Witnesses, who will never become Jehovah's Witnesses? They are, for instance, Baptist or Anglicans or Methodist. And do you believe that they are real Christians? I noticed that I'm using the phrase real Christians, which is in your book, but you responded using the word Christians. Oh, I think... well, to me, I guess a real a Christian would be a real Christian. Right. Somebody could call themselves a Christian, right? And not and be somewhat of a Christian or more so than another, um, more devout, less devout. But Jehovah's Witnesses as a whole are Christians, and we're, we can't judge anybody else. Well, if do. they say they're a Christian and they are, that's up to God in the end. No, no. Um, your, your literature has said that um, the churches of Christendom do not represent Christianity. That's a quote from the well, Wake, that, 22nd of that, April, that we 1970, believe. page 18. 
Yes, and right. I'm not talking about the churches of of Christianity. I'm talking about individuals with good heart conditions who are sincere, who love God, and we don't judge anybody. We don't know, but we would say that that those who are Christians or striving to be would recognize that Jehovah is God. That is his name. And um, in the long run, th- we're all going to end up worshiping Jehovah if, we, if we're around. So, I mean, th- that's the way it is. We're not, I'm not, we're not really judging anyone, but true Christianity originates with his people. What, what makes a person a real Christian? You've said sincerity several times. There are many atheists who are sincere people. There are many Hindus and Buddhists who are sincere people. And we're not judging them. We're not judging them. There are all sorts of people into Scientology and um, very strange religion who who are sincere people. So That's right. What makes a person a real Christian? One who worships Jehovah God. Right. And believes in Jesus as his son and savior, and and to t- prays and attempts to do God's will um, in line with the scriptures. Right, but all these things you're referencing to the teachings of the Jehovah's Witnesses. The only people who believe in Jehovah as taught by the Watchtower, who believe in the Son of God, that he's the Archangel Michael, uh, as taught you by know, the Watchtower, it are when, Jehovah's when Witnesses, s- the only people who obey and strive to um, teach God's gospel, according to the Jehovah's Witnesses, are Jehovah's Witnesses. I feel you're double talking me a little bit. You're double, you know, in George Orwell's book, 1984, he talks about double speak and double talk. And I feel you're double talking me because you're saying something that you don't really believe. Um, one of the watchtowers. I, I don't know what. I, no, I, can I tell you a very short story? Yes, yeah, sure. You may find you may find interesting. I'm a I'm Jewish. I was born a Jew. I was raised a Jew. I had a bar mitzvah in the synagogue. I was, went to Hebrew school. I do know some Hebrew. I can read Hebrew. I know God's name. When I was a child, we saw. Y H W H in in various you know in the Bible in the Jewish Bible and it was Yehovah Jehovah and um, I grew up I was an unhappy person I was a musician and I prayed for the truth and um, then Jehovah's Witnesses came to our door and left my mother a tract a pamphlet. And I came home one day and I said, I saw it on the piano sitting there. And I said, Mom, what's this? And she said, oh, throw it away. So, so, but I took it. I went into my bedroom with it and I read it. I called the local kingdom hall and I set up a study. um, A brother from from the congregation answered the call. And I went there and he showed me scriptures in the Bible um, one of them was Revelation 21. I saw a new heaven and a new earth. And he, and he said, would you like to live in a world like that? I said, of course. We set up a Bible study and, um, I, I studied, it took a few months and I, be, I became a baptized witness of Jehovah and I believed in Jesus as the ransom sacrifice. Now, do I judge anybody? And another religion, like a I'm Baptist asking, or a I'm Catholic? I'm not asking you your own personal opinions. Uh, they are of no consequence to me. I'm not going to base my life on what a, per- a person I've met on the Internet for the first time tells me. I, I honestly don't care what, what you believe at uh, all. I'm just telling you my side of the story. But I mean, I'm not interested in your side of the story. The only thing that interests me, what is the official teaching of the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society on people in other groups? And they teach that they're of the devil. Um, You call churches Christendom. No, we're not saying that they are with the the, the devil. 
We do believe that Satan the devil is behind the other religions, yes. Are we saying that everybody in those churches are with the devil? Eh, that's a tough call. I can't, I, I don't even know what it would say to that, so. Well, if um, it's a tough call, it's a tough call because you believe. I mean, your watchtower, 15th of July 2013, page 13, paragraph 13, and I'm paraphrasing, um, I'd have to look it up. It calls Christendom, it says Christendom are a part of the harlot false religion. That's the harlot yes. from the book of Revelation. The great harlot, yes. Christendom is. And Revelation is Grand Climax at Hand, published in 1988, page 235, that's paragraphs two and three, basically says that Christendom is every single church. And it's again, it's a part of the harlot. Yeah, that's that's true. Yeah. Um, one of the watchtowers I, I looked at was the 15th of November 1981 watchtower, page 21, which says, quote, And while now the witness yet includes the invitation to come to Jehovah's organization for salvation. So there is no salvation outside of Jehovah's organization, which the watchtower defines as currently the... Um, teaching of the governing body who claim to be the faithful and discreet slave therefore ergo okay. any other religion is a false religion that's led by satan the catholics the protestants hinduism buddhism they're all the same they're all of the devil according to the watchtower bible and tract society um 1975 yeah, yearbook um, mm -hmm. page 98 says that Satan has used the Protestants and Catholics to destroy God's remnant okay so, so what, what, am I, what should I say to that well the only real Christians according to the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society are Jehovah's Witnesses there are no real Christians outside of the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society I've asked this well, question to agree. other Jehovah's Witnesses and they've talked at length and what they basically tell me is not answering my question. They basically say, well, there are people in the Baptist church, people in the Methodist church. In a couple of years time, they will pick up a Jehovah's Witness book or speak to a Jehovah's Witness. They will become Jehovah's Witnesses. They will become real Christians. So, yes, they will tell me there are real Christians in the Baptist, the Methodist, and the Anglicans. Because in five, six, seven years time, they will become Jehovah's Witnesses and thereby become real Christians, which isn't my question. My question is, are there people outside of the Watchtower organization who will never be Jehovah's Witnesses in the Baptist, the Methodist, the Anglican Church? I used to be a Baptist. Can I be? Is it possible for me to be a real Christian and never to be a Jehovah's Witness? That's a, you know what? That's a, that is a very good question. Yeah. I'll grant you that for sure. And... Um, I don't think that I would, I, I, <laughs> um, I, I, I don't know. I can't answer that. I really don't know. I wouldn't think so, honestly. I mean, what fellowship, what time, I mean, sometimes there's interfaith prayer meetings. Um, okay. What prayer do you do with, for instance, Baptist or Methodist or Anglicans? Do you, do you pray with them? I'm not asking, do you pray for them? I've asked this question of other Jehovah's Witnesses. They say, yes, of course we pray with Baptists, Methodists and Anglicans. What they mean is they pray for them that they might become Jehovah's Witnesses and thereby become real Christians. So they're praying for them to be saved. But do you, do you, yeah. do you ever go to your local Baptist church and take part in a prayer meeting in the local Baptist church? Do local... Do you, no. do, do you invite local Methodists or Anglicans or Baptists to come to your kingdom hall and pray with you? Not be prayed for, of course. but go onto the platform and their leaders pray with your leaders on the, the platform? No. Why not? No. Why not? Because they, they would not pray to Jehovah. Right. So And they would not use God's name. And that we, we identify with the God of the Bible, Jehovah. And we'd pray it to Jehovah and God and his son's name, Jesus. And they will not do that. They will pray to God. And I mean, 
We're a little more specific than that. If they would like to learn that God's name is Jehovah and acknowledge that, then yes, they will have the opportunity to pray for the even for the congregation. Christians don't need to be told that God's name is Jehovah. Christians have been praying to Jehovah for centuries before Jehovah's Witnesses even started. The King James Bible uses the word Jehovah four times. Yahweh, I know that. Yahweh is more accurate. Okay, your Kingdom Interlinear, the purple first edition on page 23, admits that Yahweh is more accurate than Jehovah. But cr Christians have yeah. used the word Jehovah for centuries. My favorite hymn is Guide Me, O Thou Great Jehovah. So Christians okay. don't need to be told, oh, I never knew the name of God. Christians know full well that, that the tetragram from yod he vav -He y h w h means Yahweh or, or Jehovah in the anglicized form. So Great. We don't, we don't need to be know that because we, 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 we know that. Okay. Good for you. Okay. Now what? <laughs> I'm not trying to be um, sarcastic. I'm just, you know, we're talking here. Yeah. Well, I, I think that um, Christians have a different view to Jehovah's Witnesses on the resurrection of Christ. They believe that Christ rose bodily from the grave, whereas Jehovah's Witnesses believe that Christ had a spiritual resurrection. So that's the first main difference. The second main difference is um, Christians believe that the one God, Yahweh or Jehovah, is eternally, personally and distinctly Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Jehovah's Witnesses, as, as I understand this, I say this with respect, I think they get that wrong. I think they believe that only the Father is God. They do not believe correctly that the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit are revealed as Yahweh God in the Bible. So that's why I would well, never you... pray with a Jehovah's Witness, because I believe they have false views of Jesus Christ and false views of God. Mm, I would not agree with your viewpoint on that. I would agree with the, the, the view that Jehovah is the only one and true God, not Jesus, not the Holy Spirit. So is Jesus a false God? If Jesus is not a true God, is he a false God? He's not a god. He is sometimes ref he is I think he's referred to in the Bible as a god. Others are referred to as a god. There's that pronoun in there. But he's not ref ever referred to as god or, um at all. In fact, he when they just, bowed down to pray he, to him, he said, "Don't do that. All I am is a fellow servant of he, yours he, and of you God." You need to so. give the scripture. You need to give me the scripture so I can turn to it and look at it. Don't don't just don't just make some some statement, please. Um, you contradicted yourself because you said Jesus is a God, and then you said Jesus was not God. So what is it? Is Jesus a God? He's not God. He's Sorry, not God. I'm trying to think of the scripture that said a God. Um, I, I'm I'm sorry. You, we could forget the a God part. He, He's not, he's not classified as God in the Bible. He really isn't. If you can find me that, let me know. Yeah, sure. John 20, 28. Where, what is it? John chapter 20, verse 28. What does it say? Um, I don't have the Bible right next to me. I'm sorry. <clears throat> um, he's speaking to Thomas. Thomas doubted his resurrection and he uh -huh. tells Thomas to feel put his hands into the print of the nails and put his finger into the print of the nails and put my hand into his side um, oh he said my lord and my god or something yeah I'm just about to come to that so yes. Jesus tells Thomas I'll read from verse 27 I, I was I was reading verse 25 verse 27 then he, that's Jesus, said to Thomas, reach your finger here and look at my hands and reach your hand here and put it into my side. Do not be unbelieving, but believing. Put it into his <clears throat> side because there's been a hole made in Jesus's body by the spear. 
which which pierced him. Um, so Jesus clearly tells Thomas to feel the print of the nails in his hands and put his hand into his side because Jesus has risen from the grave in the same body that he died in, the same physical body that died on the tree. So that's the first point. Then having done this in verse 28, Thomas, and he's actually quoting Psalm 35, 23. Thomas answered and said to him, my Lord and my God. That's a quote of Psalm 35, 23. Jesus then approves. Jesus said to him, Thomas, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believed. Now, Thomas calls Jesus my Lord and my God. So there is a reference to Jesus being called Lord and God. That's a quotation of Psalm 35, 23, where Yahweh or Jehovah is my Lord and my God. It reads slightly different. It reads my God and my Lord in the Hebrew. But when that was translated into the Greek Septuagint, it, sh it was changed to my Lord and my God. This is one of the reasons why we know the New Testament always quotes from the Greek Septuagint. As far as I know, never from the Hebrew. So Psalm 35, okay. 22. This you have seen, O Lord, capitals Yahweh. Uh, uh, when it says, O Lord, in capitals, I'll, I'll, I'll say Jehovah. This you have seen, O Jehovah. Do not keep silent. O Lord, do not be far from me. Stir yourself and awake to my vindication to my cause my god and my lord vindicate yes. me o jehovah my god according to your righteousness so jehovah is my god and my lord in psalm 35 23 because jehovah is used before that verse and after that verse of the one who's my lord and my god that was translated as my lord and my god the word order was changed in the greek septuagint and thomas uh, uses that and quotes that at Jesus Christ in John twenty thirty twenty eight John chapter 20 verse 28 proving that Jesus clearly is Jehovah he he called Thomas calls <laughs> Jesus Lord and God this is crazy well I'll look into that yeah 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 I'll I will do that yeah um do you mind if I read paragraph one Paragraph one of what? Uh, the chapter we were looking at, Lesson 19 of Enjoy Life Forever. Sure, go right ahead. Thank you. Jesus said God's word is truth. Like Jesus, Jehovah's Witnesses have always based their beliefs on God's word. Consider our modern day history. In the late 19th century, a group of Bible students carefully began to examine the Bible. They based their beliefs on what it said even when those beliefs differed from church doctrines. Then they began sharing those Bible truths with others. So it uses the word truth twice. There's an asterisk at the end of the chapter, the footnote at the bottom of the page, which is relegated to the end of the chapter in the online version, says, quote, Our principal journal, The Watchtower, has published Bible truth consistently since 1879. Now, this book, Enjoy Life Forever, was published three years ago in 2021. I need to know that footnote, our principal journal, The Watchtower, has published Bible truth consistently since 1879. Is that a truthful statement or are they willingly and deliberately um, obfuscating the truth? Well, they've made many modifications to things they've said, retractions alterations um and uh, as well, how would you say it um new light if you will um and changes as as they see things more clearly so so yeah, they they make changes so they haven't published the truth consistently since 1879 that's a lie isn't it well they publish the truth as clearly you know it's like a is it magic no um, they publish the truth as they see it at the time, and if there are corrections, they humbly make the corrections and let it be known. But anyone could say you know, that. nothing's perfect. Yeah, but what's e that? But anyone could say that. The Mormons, the Christadelphians, Scientology, 
Islam, sure, is, let Islamic say groups. Any, anyone could say, we publish the truth. We've always published the truth. We've never published lies. However, our truth changes over time as the light gets brighter and brighter. It's just a get out That's of jail true. free card. It's a cop out. It means that no matter we're what per- you do, we're not perfect. We're not perfect. Then why do I need it? If the Bible is perfect, if the word of God is perfect, why do I need an imperfect prophet in the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society? Well, you're not going to find a perfect one nowadays, are you? Yes. Those, those died yes. out long ago. Yes, I do have a perfect prophet. I have the word of God. Yes. I have the word of God to guide me. And I have the Holy yes. Spirit to interpret those scriptures for me. Well, I, I'm, I'm good for you. Then continue with that. Right. But why do I need a body of men who make mistakes, who tell lies? Why do I need a government body of Jehovah's Witnesses? They don't tell lies. Witnesses? Believe me. I know them all. I've known them since I was a kid. They, they are, they're not liars. They, make, they have made mistakes. They have made misinterpretations, which they have. They correct as they see they need to and can and have to. They, there's, there's no games going on here. I mean, this is like serious business. Um, if, if they do, I would see it. I wouldn't be with them, believe me. Right. I mean, That's all. I mean... Uh, ha, 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 how would you explain the fact that they used to teach that the second presence of Christ was from 1874? They were teaching that... As late as 1929 in the the book Prophecy on page 65, it just says the second presence of Christ is from 1874. You don't believe that? The light keeps getting brighter, my friend. So what happens if if a Catholic says the Pope is the apostle of Peter, the Pope is the successor of Peter, and if you mention the Inquisition, Spanish Inquisition, people being skinned alive, burnt at the stake. He said, oh, the, the light gets brighter and brighter. And the Catholic can call out with Nazi Germany. Don't worry about that. The light gets brighter and brighter. You see, it's just, a, it's, it's a sort no, of, no, it's a no, sort no, of, just... it, it's, well, no, anyone no. can use that argument and it means that they can never be, be That's criticized. True. I, I'm Islam not sure uses... what the purpose of your, why it's... are we talking? If you, you do what you want, what's your first name again? I'm sorry. Robert. Robert, sir. Robert. Robert, um, do, believe what you will. Do what you want. You know, it's a free world with that we're in. Um, so continue as you wish. I would. And um, yes. hopefully we'll all see the light in a positive way. How would you feel if a Catholic said that to you? If you said Catholicism is wrong and you mentioned the Spanish Inquisition and the Concordat with Nazi Germany that Pope Pius uh, signed in 1933 with Hitler. I don't tell anybody Catholicism is wrong. I don't tell anybody anything is wrong. I simply try and show them in scriptures in the Bible to, about the future of mankind and, and give them hope. You know, if they want to study the Bible with Jehovah's Witnesses, it's their prerogative. If not, it's up to them. That's all. But your literature, Jehovah's Witness literature, says that Catholics and Protestants are being used by Satan. That's in the 1975 yearbook, page 98. The, the 75 yearbook, 75 page yearbook. 98. Yeah. Well, you know, Robert, you can go by that if you want. And if you want to find fault with Jehovah's Witnesses, it's okay. You can do that. But I, I understand. I understand both sides. And um, I've been with Jehovah's Witnesses a long time, mm-hmm. and I've known some of the um, individuals on the governing body. And I don't see it like you do. I'm sorry. Maybe you know if you think I'm corrupt or crazy. Uh, or... I'm not telling you what I believe. I haven't told you what I believe. I haven't mentioned what I believe once. I think so far. Okay. Uh, ap- ap- well, well, apart from the that. apart from the um, um, view, my view that Jesus rose in a physical body. Yeah, that that is what something I would believe. Most of what I've said, ninety percent of what I've said to you so far tonight is quoting telling you what the watchtower teaches 
and giving you quotes from Watchtower literature to, to back up that. Yeah, I thing. understand. I understand. Yeah. I mean, Satan I'm not has... condemning anybody or, or what you're saying. I mean, um, I go, I've been changing with the, with the, uh, with the viewpoint that is taught by the Watchtower. I mean, it does change some from time to time and, I, I've seen it, and they've been basically very humble about it. And um, what changes? Some of the some of their viewpoints or, or teachings on certain Bible right. um, truth or whatever but, you want to call it, um, doctrine. But, but as the Bible remains the same, surely what's changing yes, is just the does. opinions of men. Yes, it does, but don't forget we're where dealing with Bible different change. Where does the Bible change? How does the Bible change? I thought the Bible remained the same. I thought it's the no. I'm of saying men it, it, it alters. Change. You have different translations, um, different ways of looking at it, and the God's word is the same, really. Though we know that. Yeah, God's word is the same, but surely men's opinions. Uh, you know what? I don't want to. I don't, I'm not here to argue with anybody. I I don't know what your purpose is, but if you're trying to get satisfaction within yourself by putting the, the tr what may be the truth down, that's up to you. But I I have my if belief, you have your belief, and okay, go with it. Okay, I are, are you aware that at one time, um, and I don't know when they stopped believing this probably sometime during Rutherford's presidency. But originally, Jehovah's Witnesses taught that Jesus Christ became Almighty God at his resurrection. You said earlier that Jesus was not a God, but they used to teach that Christ became the Almighty God, not at his birth, but at his resurrection. That's in the Watchtower, 1893, page 115. Uh, Berean Bible Teacher's Manual, page 454. I have a copy of that, original copy of that. And it's stated in the Finnish Mystery on page 15 and page 240. Um, Finnish Mystery was published in 1917, two years before you, the Watchtower claims that um, it was appointed by Jesus Christ uh, as the faithful it's and the old stuff. It's it's old stuff, and Bible interpretation is not magic, right? And it's old stuff, and the light does grow brighter, and we do become enlightened over time, and the truth becomes more clear. And then, that's it, I mean, <laughs> I'm this first time I'm hearing what you're saying, 1800 and something. I'm familiar with some of it, but... <laughs> It's changed a lot, hasn't it? Yes. So are you saying that the Watchtower, it's old light that you claim that Jesus chose um, the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society as his faithful and discreet slave in the year 1919? He, he did not choose it. Jehovah God is the boss, <laughs> if you will. Um, it is actually currently taught in Watchtower literature, uh, still today, that their authority, the authority of the governing body, comes from their appointment by Jesus Christ in the year 1919. Um, I've just gone... That's a... great. Pardon? Maybe I'll go back to being a Jew. Would that be better? Um, I, I'm not I'm not here to talk about your what you do with your own personal life is none of my business. But you're making all sorts of statements about the Watchtower by the Track Society, which are just not true. Um, Watchtower, July the 15th, you can't... 2013, page 22. The little paragraph, yellow paragraph box at the top of the page. Uh, the middle column says appointed over his domestics. And it says in 1919, Jesus selected capable anointed brothers to be his faithful and discreet slave. That is the central doctrine, as far as I know, of the Jehovah's Witness religion, not 1914. It's that Jesus selected capable and anointed brothers to be his faithful and discreet slave in the year 1919. That is the basis of authority of the governing body. It's how they claim that they are um, 
they represent Jehovah God because they were in, in they were chosen in the year 1919. That is not old light. That is current teaching of Jehovah's Witnesses. They still teach that 1919 is central to Watchtower doctrine, sir. Not that I know of, but if you say so. No, I've quoted the Watchtower, July the 15th, 2013, page 22. You're talking doctrine, 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 I don't know, doctrine. I mean, if you're they, talking about a date that something occurred um, spiritually or, in, you know, religiously, okay, but I, I'm not really going with that attitude regarding all things that happened in 1919. You know, we're very progressive and whatnot, and... I'm not staying back in those days, but you should do whatever you feel you need to do. Uh, it's not my belief. I'm not a Jehovah's Witness. I've never been a Jehovah's Witness. I don't know why we're even talking then. You, ha I mean, are you? Tr are you? Is there a reason for our conversation? Yeah, yeah. Um, what I do is I, I talk to people. I talked to a Mormon yesterday. I've talked to mm -hmm. oneness Pentecostals. I've had long discussions with Muslims here in the UK. I talk to a lot of religious people about their beliefs, what they believe. And what I find... Is there a is, church that... You, yes, go ahead. Yeah, and what I find out is most religious people don't know the first thing at all about their own religion. Um, most people join religion just for the social activity and to be part of a group. They seem It seems to be a human need to be part of a group. It's a very comforting thing. <clears throat> And most people pay absolutely zero attention to doctrine, as you call it. Bear in mind, the doctrines I'm talking about, 90% of what I've said, uh, with the exception of me saying, yes, I do personally believe that Jesus is God, and I personally believe that Jesus um, rose from the dead in the physical body that he died on the tree. Apart from that, everything else I've said is watched our doctrine. It's not what I believe. This is what the official teaching of the organization that you're involved with believes the watchtower bible and tracks understood Society. yeah okay i mean but thank you i'm, I'm not i don't want to talk anymore i think we've used okay. up the time i All i right. have but i appreciate nice speaking with you N nice speaking with you sir if you want to speak again just give me a ring thank you okay robert you have a good good evening oh and day. <laughs> for which state did you say you were from if if uh connecticut right next to new york Connecticut. And if I could just ask, yes. what's the name of your congregation? Because I can look it up on JW.org, can't I? Or... No, you don't need to know that, really. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye.